Alright, so this is going to be uh, Flash Episode 11 Review, The Sound and the Fury. Or is it The Fury and the Sound? I don't know. So, this episode on a whole is more about talking about Dr. Wells and what he did in the past. Uh, this also is the introduction to the Pied Piper, which I'm, I'm glad they kept the... Um, because Here's the thing. Pied Piper is one of the few... Uh, gay superhero, uh, super villains, excuse me. He's one of the few gay super villains. I think he might be the. No, there are a few. They just don't come. He's the first one when you when it comes to mind. And I was kind of afraid. Well, are they going to go that route? But then again, I thought. Well, this is this. You know, Nissa is uh, the same. You know, Nissa is also. Uh, you know, uh, is Nissa is a lesbian? So. I guess they they aren't afraid of that because that was a thing. Like when I when I saw, and let me talk about this real quick. When when it comes to CW and uh, same sex uh, relationships, the thing is, is that they used to be very fi they used to be very finicky about it in the past. But now I've kind of seen it like this in Vampire Diaries and, and uh, a few other shows in the CW. It's like they've warmed up to the idea. So I'm 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 kind of glad they went with that. You know, not and they didn't throw it in your face either. Like oh I'm gay. Well there's that funny joke he had about when Flash takes him to Star Labs, but other than that, they don't really bring it up at all, but, you know, I'm glad they kept that characteristic in there. Anyway, also, I loved that the uh, Flash, uh, we got a reference to the Royal Flush Gang, which was completely awesome. <laughs> I love that we got the Royal Flush Gang in here as well. What I also like in here is that we see more of Wells, or, you know, Hunter Zolomon, or what, whoever the hell he is. Yeah, Wells as a character. This was a really good way to show off what he was. Uh, Kate, you know, he. This really makes you feel bad for him as a human being, even though he, you probably know he's doing some horrible things as the Reverse Flash. But yeah, uh, Pied Piper also with the sound. With the, I love how they manipulate sound. There's like some legit science in here. Uh, <laughs> with how the you know how uh, the Piper uses the you know the power frequency sound and frequencies in here, and you know this was also a nice little episode for Cisco as well, showing that uh, why you know Wells keeps Cisco around at Star Labs. I love how they uh, how they kind of show that you know yeah he's smart and intelligent, but you know he brings humanity to this group. That's why Wells ha had him on here, so. I really like that, and also, Iris was also pretty awesome in here. That's something I thought I would never say. Yeah, Iris being awesome. There's a there's a turn of phrase I thought was never possible. I really, because uh, uh, I really liked how she, you know, she figures out real quick that, you know, uh, this, this whole theme on a whole of, you know, being... Uh, of you know, d you know, your heroes aren't what they m uh, may not be what you expect, and I really like that and how that plays with uh, with Iris of just being on this, getting this job just because she may have a connection to the Flash. So I really like that, but I also like how it kind of takes you down a few pegs of like, oh, I'm a blo you know, oh, I'm a journalist, and someone says you're a blogger. My mom blogs, and I yet, yeah, well, who is it? Morgan Edge, Jason? I don't know. Miles Edge? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't care. That character was like, I don't care about you. I don't care about anyone in this uh, group, or as I like to call it, the da you know, Daily Bugle Light. That's that's what I'm calling it here. I'm just kind of waiting for that moment for when the uh, the editor in chief. <laughs> I, I'm waiting for that moment. The editor in chief says, "Get me pictures of the get me pictures of the Flash. If he doesn't want to be famous, I'll make him infamous." I'm kind of waiting for that. <laughs> Or, or you know the, the you know people saying making the try, or at least trying to do because you've seen the little spider you know uh, how much this takes from Spider Man with uh, obviously Barry Allen's kind of personality in here. I would not be surprised if like there's a story arc of central of the Central City, uh, uh, Central City News, a newspaper group uh, saying that you know the Flash is a menace and all that, and you know Iris is taking a stand to that, and either losing her job or you know having Moxie or whatever the hell. I don't know. I just feel like that might be an episode... that might be a subplot in an episode. Anyway. So let's talk about the other major thing in this episode. It, and that being... what um, We see Wells run a few times in this episode without the costume. 
and we see something that kind of explains why he needs the tachyon generator. He needs it because, for some reason, his speed force is dying, and if you see his legs, like, kind of cramping up, not really, that's the best word I can use, at least. It looks like his le something's been done to him in the future, and he, he just, his legs just shut down, and he's like, oh, not again, and all that, and the, he's using these tachyon particles, that tachyon generator, or whatever the hell it was called, to to tap into the speed force. I was so happy that we got a we got a name drop of the speed force. Oh, that was so cool. I loved it. So we see that he's, you know, the machine that he's using is giving him power, but it's not giving him enough. It's not, you know, allowing him to really tap into it um, on a whole. It's not allowing him to tap into it uh, <clears throat> more than it is. You know, he needs more power, and the tachyon thing is only a temporary source, and he knows it. And he says, you know, we're headed into the final game. You know, we're headed into the end game, so... But I was like, how many episodes do we have left? We Is it 20? or Because I thought it was 25, so... We're pretty far from the end game, Wells. We're actually kind of far from it, unless you're planning something... You know, you're planning something in between, you know, this and the season finale. <laughs> But, anyway, um, not much else, else to, not much else to talk about, uh, the villain plot was pretty cool, the final fight between Flash and Pipe Piper was, uh, was pr it was pretty interesting as well, of how they use his own Sonics against him, kind of like how, it's kind of like the same thing, we, we, I've seen this in a few, a few other episodes before, where it's more like the Flash using the, the, his villain's powers against them. And, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's kind of a thing with a lot of super, uh, superheroes. I mean, hell, uh, even in Doctor Who, that's one of the, how the Doctor beats his enemies, is using their own power against them. So, I'm fine with, you know, the running gag of people, you, uh, you know, the hero using the villain's power against them, but don't make that a constant thing, you know what I mean? But, <clears throat> other than that, uh, not much else, again, I could talk about with this, although I'm very curious to see, you know, Thawne and, uh, Thawne and, you know, Eddie and Joe is starting at the beginning in a private investigation on Wells, because I really like that, you know, Joe is still suspecting of well of, uh, of Wells, and now Barry's kind of, uh, kind of like, well, Wells still keeps his secret, so I better be nervous about that. I'd have been like, and I was kind of thinking, you should have been more suspicious about him after he used one guy to kill another, to try and kill another when the power ran out. You know what I mean? So, and also, I'm just going to make a, a, a theory here. I'm just going to throw this theory out. I'm just going to throw this out here. I think Joe's going to die. I think Joe is going to die in this season. I think Joe's going to get killed in this season by uh, Reverse Flash. Because they've it, obviously they've shown a lot of bond, you know, obviously this father this uh, father son bond between Barry and Joe, even though obviously Barry still has his father, and you know how he keeps the whole West, you know West Allen fa uh, family dynamic in intact, as well as you know be a voice of reason for Barry, and you know how the Reverse Flash for those who have read the comics can't really attack, you know can't kill the Flash. He can't kill the Flash because without the Flash, there would be no Reverse Flash. So what Reverse Flash loves to do is torment Bear, you know, torment Barry however he sees fit, and that usually means going after his loved ones. So going after Joe would be a logical choice. So that's, but that's just my theory. Maybe you know, I don't know. Like I just think Joe might, I just think Joe might kick the bucket in this season, but it, <laughs> or the next. But anyway, you guys tell me, what do you guys think of this episode? I know this wasn't a long review, I just wanted to get... There wasn't much to talk about here. Although, I, again, there were some great personal character moments, especially with Cisco and Wells. Uh, they really uh, shine in this one. But, uh... Yeah. Really looking forward to this, and also the whole thing with uh, Pal Pipe, you know, Pied Piper knows about Firestorm. I know we're getting an episode. It looks like late, you know, the episode after the next one will be focusing on Firestorm more, more which I'll be very interested to see how that goes. But yeah, for right now, 
I really enjoyed this, but not el not a lot else to talk about here. Anyway, uh, once again, hope you all enjoyed this review, and I will see you guys later.